A high-rise apartment building caught on fire overnight in Squirrel Hill, and now dozens of people need a new place to stay. Megan Schiller talked with residents as they evacuated the eight-story building. A very terrible night for everyone who lives inside the Murray Towers. Firefighters say it could have been a whole lot worse, so they're just really thankful that everyone is okay. I heard the fire alarm come out, so I hurried up and got out there, went down the fire door like everybody else. Yes, I was scared because I couldn't get out. Residents of Murray Towers thankful to be safe Tuesday morning after firefighters busted through three windows to get to the flames. The soot from all the smoke now blankets the front of the building. Pittsburgh firefighters extending the ladder to reach this third floor studio apartment. It was pretty thick. You can uh, see the line of demarcation on, in the hallway from when the door was left open. Uh, it was pretty thick, but they handled it. It was uh, no, not difficult and a relatively simple fire to extinguish. The fire alarm sounded just before 5 a.m., evacuating everyone from their warm beds out into the rain. Dozens wrapped themselves in blankets before piling into a pat bus to stay warm. Fire Chief Daryl Jones says thankfully everyone will be okay. Upon our arrival, uh, guys got in there, went up the stairwell, found one person sitting in the stairwell with some burns. That person wound up at Mercy Hospital for treatment and first responders also treated another elderly resident for bad smoke inhalation. The worst part now is the entire third floor saw damage. This could have been a lot worse. Unfortunately, it's the holidays and any type of event through prior to the holidays is hard. After about three hours, residents got the OK to go back inside and the Housing Authority will now begin to clean up the severely burned apartment and smoke damage throughout the building. And the Red Cross is helping out about 20 or so residents who lived on the third floor. No word yet on whenever they'll be able to move back in. Reporting in Squirrel Hill, Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.